Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Yep, see, people are getting their karma, man. They're feeling like fools now. They got themselves all tripped up. You know, people who thought there would be no consequences, right? Oh, there's consequences. The scales are being balanced. Um, yeah, and it's all being exposed to here with the sun. I'm just feeling this retrograde energy here. Everything has come full circle. Everything is coming back and um, energy is being returned to sender. Uh, you've got... You've got maybe a king of pentacles here, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're watching you move forward. Um, they're watching you move on in silence, okay? Um, yeah, keeping your moves hidden, uh, leaving them behind. Yeah, this person, yeah, and they see you as the ten of pentacles. You're heading straight towards the ten of pentacles. So... Um, in this retrograde, expect for, you could be even getting some sudden wealth here. Okay. You're being divinely led. I feel like this person has gotten some messages from the divine that they need to come in, um, with some kind of apology or offer. They need to get it moving. Okay, it's almost like the divine smacks this horse in the butt and tells it to get moving, you know. <laughs> yeah, otherwise they're going to miss this opportunity and this connection is coming to an end. That's it. Um, I, right now, all they've been doing is watching you and um, being a hermit. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio, um, Aries, maybe Taurus. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They've been doing nothing but thinking about you and watching you. Thinking about you and watching you. That's all they do. Okay? And the divine is like, get it moving. Otherwise, you're going to miss this opportunity here. This is coming to an end. Yeah, you're in this earth angel energy, and this person is watching you in a whole lot of regret, feeling heartbroken, Oh, you know, here's the thing. They broke your heart. They betrayed you. They could have put you in some kind of third party, right? Whatever they were um, putting in their energy into here, um, there was no love there. They know they turned their back on the soulmate connection, and they want this back. I kind of get the sense this person's on their knees praying because they're, um, they really are feeling heartbroken here. And you're coming through in this beautiful temperance earth angel energy, right? You could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Libra, Leo. They know with you they could have the Ten of Pentacles. That's ultimate wish fulfillment. You could be, um, you could have a lot of money right now. Yeah, look, tower moment. Kaboom! They missed out on the best thing ever, and that is the truth. That's the truth. So I feel like the divine is really shaking this person's world up, okay? Um, they're losing their stability. They're, they're getting their karma here. This is what this is. This is their karma. And I feel like as you move forward, um, that's when this tower hits. That's when they get their karma. You're done waiting. You're done being patient. You've been patient long enough. You have been um, working on your building your finances. You could have um, your own business, be an entrepreneur, right? You've transformed your whole life. You've transformed the way you look. Um, you've transformed your abundance, your stability, you're literally everything, you know. I always see the Nine of Pentacles as, you know, you're everything. Um, and it's not just materialistic, right? In order to build the Nine of Pentacles, you have to be driven. You have to be motivated, smart, focused, um, dependable, committed to what you're growing. You have to be a nurturer, right? 
um, love what you're doing and have a passion for it. You're also very intuitive here. You're getting messages from the divine and you're, you're allowing spirit to just lead you. And it's brought you to, I mean, you've got 19 pentacles out here and the most you can have in the deck is 10. I feel like, honestly, um, you're, you've got everything that you need here. You're a single person moving on, right? Trying to heal from whatever this person did to you. And um, the only thing you don't have is one pentacle. There's only one pentacle missing, and that stands for a commitment. And I feel like that's coming. You're already committed to your path. Some of you may enjoy being single, and you're just committed to your job and your calling. Okay? Um, but yeah, this person over here, they can't stop watching you. They're seeing how intuitive you are. They're watching you create and grow, and they're about to watch you get some someone else. You've got you've got new love coming in here. Possibly a twin, another twin flame, or um, it, I want to say it could be another divine feminine or divine masculine that has been displaced. Right. Um, for so many of us out here, look at my candles about to go out. This connection's about to be over. Um, for so many of us out here, um, our person never came to do the right thing. So there's a lot of displaced divine feminines and divine masculines out here, and people are being redirected. You're about to be loved. You're about to have everything. You're about to have love and commitment in your life from somebody who they could even be, um, this new person could even be in the public eye possibly doing the same kind of thing that you're doing. They've learned their lessons too through this journey and they're coming out having a victory. So I'm seeing you getting um, a new love here. And as this person from your past, they're watching you. If they're in so much regret. They know what they lost out on now. And I feel like you were very underestimated because, see, the seven of pentacles, uh, yeah, the nine of pentacles to me, two shakes before this, you were at the seven of pentacles. Possibly you could have even had like a dirty job, working really hard, not afraid to get your hands dirty, right? Um, trying to build something for yourself. Possibly in a struggle, like um, you were working and working and working, putting in that effort, but not able to reap a harvest from it yet. But now you are, and you've changed. You know, um, you're no longer in peasant clothing here. I feel like you flipped into an empress in the into an empress right before this person's eyes. Okay, and they didn't know what you were capable of. Look at this. Yeah, you're about to get somebody new here. I feel like you're about to get sudden wealth. All of the effort that you put in is about to be, um, is about to pay off. And you're having this brand new beginning. Yeah, and you've been nothing but, you've had nothing but integrity. You've held your head up high. When this person hurt you, you didn't chase you didn't look for any kind of revenge. You didn't retaliate. You didn't, you know, I feel like you took an L here. And um, and boy, did you do it with grace and strength. Uh, you've stood in your truth. You've got your boundaries up against people from your past. You held your head up high and you move forward because you knew what you were worth. You know, even if you didn't have a whole lot of money at the time, you knew your value. You had self-respect. Okay? You had self-respect. You weren't about to chase or grovel or beg for anybody's attention. Instead, you put all of your focus into you. And whatever it is that you were growing, you just kept your focus, okay, and stayed in your north node. Um, and now I feel like, yeah, you, you stopped talking to this person right away. I mean, you know what? They've been burdened by that ever since they hurt you. You know, you just stopped talking to them. You stopped dealing with them. 
you're like, fine, whatever. I'm going to, I'm going to focus on whatever I can and build myself up. You know, I'm going to keep doing what I love to do and I'm going to keep it moving. And I'm telling you now it's reached the point where, um, this person, they can't take it anymore. They can, and watching you is no longer enough for them. They know they've got to confront this. And the divine is giving them the messages uh, to confront the things that they've done and communicate with you, okay? But you may not be talking to them anymore. Yeah, this is how they saw you. They underestimated you. Here you are in the Seven of Pentacles energy, in a peasant clothing, wearing peasant clothing, working really hard, um, unable to reap any kind of reward for it at that time. But the but when you stop talking to this person and focused on yourself, you know, you flipped into the Empress in the Minor Arcana. You went from this to this. You changed your dress. You fixed your hair. <laughs> you transformed your looks. You transformed yourself. You transformed your abundance. Everything. And now this person can see it. You know, they've been watching you go through this transformation, okay? You're like a magician out here. You know, um, you're able to manifest. You're able to build. You're able to grow. Uh, yeah. You're a master manifester. And this person, I feel like they're completely blown away and they feel like a complete fool. They, they do. They may be talking to other people about you right now. I'm seeing that this person, now maybe they have a difficult job. They're in the Three of Pentacles and you're in the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, okay? They may have to work at a job that they hate. Now, they're the ones who have to work hard and get their hands dirty and try to rebuild. So I feel like your abundance is growing, and I feel like theirs is starting to disappear, and they have to work harder for everything. You know, but really, I, I mean, I feel like this person was very materialistic. All they really wanted was one thing from you, and that was passion and lust. They wanted moments of personal gratification. They didn't see that you were building something over here that was going to be long-lasting. They didn't respect you. They didn't know your value. You know, and here you are, out here as a star. So you're on a major glow-up, and you could be even doing something in the public eye. Like, you could have... Um, you could have your a business online, maybe. You could be a Virgo, Aquarius, um, heavy Virgo energy, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Gemini. You could be dealing with the fire sign. You could be dealing with um, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They may be jealous of you now. They may be a bit jealous. I see this person in remorse and regret, but I mean, they're jealous of your stability. Okay, but they, you know, they didn't see, um, they didn't see your value at the time. It was okay to come in and, and have, you know, lust and passion with you it was okay to use you but not okay it, they didn't want to hang on to you they didn't think that you were flashy enough they didn't like the job that you had they didn't think you were enough but you were okay to use and now they're seeing the truth that you're in the public eye that's how this person is watching you you're in this beautiful, peaceful star energy. You're at peace with all of this now. And I feel like you're, you're going on a different path. Your paths are splitting now. And that's why the divine is like um, putting the pressure on this person to come in and communicate. They're showing them that they actually lost a true blessing here. But you're, you're going in a different direction, and you're ready to do that. 
okay i feel like also you know yeah judgment look at this this person's under judgment right now because they should have come in to do the right thing they were given the messages to do the right thing they after using you and tossing you aside like a, a used up bag of chips man yeah now they want to reunite This person could have been juggling you with somebody else, putting you in a third party. People are talking to this person. I feel like people are giving this person a lot of crap for this. <clears throat> Their throat chakra is closing up on me. Um, people are telling this person, what were you thinking? What in the heck were you thinking? Are you a fool? That's what they're asking this person. Are you a fool? You let the star get away. You let the collective get away. And here they're in the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. Look, you've got three aces out here already. Um, yeah, you're, you're making your dreams come true here, manifesting a new life for yourself. I feel like, uh, yeah, everybody's, people in this person's friend group or family group are giving them a lot of crap for turning their back on you like they're making this person feel like a complete idiot now they want to come forward and try to talk um but you're moving on collected wow are you moving on look at this you're leveling up you're upgrading in your life um they could be watching you whatever you're doing on the internet you're reaching a lot of people some of you could be moving away to a new location um, somewhere else in the world. So you could be moving to a different continent. Um, yeah. And you're definitely having a victory here. Some of you could have just recently bought a new car. You could be a cancer. Yeah, they're getting a lot of smack from, um, people in their community yeah they're they're being told get back in there and get moving on this go apologize you know go apologize to the collective get them back what were you thinking like they're kind of yelling at this person yeah but you're taking control back of your life you're taking your power back yeah here here they come here they come to apologize for thinking you were nothing. What are they going to say? I'm sorry. I underestimated you. I thought that you would never amount to anything. What are they going to say? You see, this is what they have to tell you. And this is what they don't want to say. I thought that you would always be in poverty. So, yeah, it was I had my fun with you, okay? I had my fun with you, but that was all I really wanted because I thought you were always going to be in poverty. I thought you would always be struggling. I thought you were really nothing. Yeah, now they've got to come in and apologize for this. They're going to look and feel like an absolute fool. Then my candle's out. I feel like this is a connection that's ending. All right? I really do. I feel like you're closing out a cycle here and you're moving on. You're done with this person. Yeah, look, defeat. They've been defeated by their own um, immaturity, I want to say. The things that they said to you and the things that they did to you, all of the pain that they made you feel, ten swords to the back, I feel like it's all coming back on them. They lost the best thing that they're, they're ever going to find. I feel like this person was all up in their ego. They, they thought they could do no wrong. They, you know what? They didn't really care at the time when they walked away from you, but they care a whole lot now because they can see how abundant you are. You know, so if this person comes in to apologize, they've got to apologize for thinking you were nothing. How do you say that to somebody? See, that's why they already feel defeated. You know, they know you know the truth about this, too. 
And here's the thing. The kicker is, if this person would have given you the benefit of the doubt or had any kind of faith in you at all, right? They could have had ultimate wish fulfillment, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of, of Pentacles. That's the kind of life that everyone dreams of having. You know, you got to understand this is everything that you could possibly wish for in life. All right. And they lost it all. Even their friends and family members are like breathing down this person's neck. You know, yeah, they could have had it all with you. The Queen of Pentacles. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer. They could have had it all with you. And you, what the throne that you're on, um, this is here to stay. This is something solid. You, you would have been dedicated, committed. You would have given this person ultimate emotional fulfillment and riches. Okay, what else can you show me? You could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I've got Pisces out here as well. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. And I feel like you're about to get an emperor. <laughs> you're about to get an emperor who's going to come in and help you build all of this. Who's going to see your worth and your value. Okay, who's, who's not going to want to leave your side. They're not going to be coming in to use you and lie to you. They're coming in to support you and be there with you. So, yeah, you've got new options coming in here. Okay? And this person can sit with their ego and experience the same kind of pain that they gave you. Um, that's what's going to end up happening because they certainly, you know, they want to come in and apologize. They know they need to. But man, the last thing this person wants to say is, yeah, I'm sorry, I thought you were nothing. Right? Yeah, they're never going to get over this collective. Nine of Swords in reverse. This person's being haunted by this. Their conscience, it won't leave them alone. But I feel like as this wheel turns, a door is closing. So new doors of opportunity are opening up for you. This is the end to a cycle here. Totally. Totally. It's the end to a cycle, and you're moving on, and you're about to get an emperor. And this person who betrayed you, I'm telling you, they're, they're, that's what's eating away at them. It is. You know? Because at the time when they did this to you, they watched you cry. They knew you were suffering, and they didn't care. They care a whole lot now. Because of everything that they missed out on. Yeah. All right. So let's um, let's let's see what this person has to say now. Okay. Because I know they're on their knees. Um. This has this person on their knees. I'm telling you. This is man down here with the ten of swords, and um. Yeah, they're on their knees in a whole lot of regret. If I can find it. There they are. They're on their knees. Okay? Thinking they should have never walked away from you. All right, so what do they have to say? Please be patient because I'm afraid of commitments. Yeah, you've been patient long enough, I feel. Things moved so fast and I didn't know how to trust my feelings for you. I don't understand what this connection really is. Yeah, they can't get you off of their mind. I'm afraid of hurting you. No other compares to you. I feel empty without you. I've never experienced this intense connection before. Yeah, now they're praying for another chance here in a whole lot of regret, but I don't think they're going to get another chance. The divine was trying to pressure them and push them into coming towards you to do the right thing, 
but they they just stayed in their ego. Um, I'm working on myself so I can come back. Please wait for me. I'm not the same person. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. Yeah, this person, they've fallen in love with you because they've been watching you the whole time. No one makes me feel the way you do. You are the best I ever had. What did I say? I miss our conversations and the sound of your voice. Please understand that I might need my space right now. I never expected to fall in love. Yeah, see, they didn't expect to fall in love with you, but they've been watching you and they're fascinated, amazed. Who wouldn't want the Empress in the Minor Arcana and the Empress? Who wouldn't want the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles? Of course this person's in love with you, but at the time when they left you, they didn't care. Where were they that whole time when you were suffering? Because it looks to me like they, they know they hurt you and they just let it happen. But now this person is on their knees wishing you would forgive them, wanting another chance. And I don't think they're going to get that chance because with the Wheel of Fortune out here, I see, I see this is ending. Okay. So this connection is coming to an end, leaving your person behind, kind of out in the cold, um, loving you from afar is what they're doing, and kicking themselves for everything that they've done to you and everything that they've lost. Okay? Okay?